A bunch of people sent this to me asking if it was my work. Sadly, it is not, but it is awesome. And now, uh, the Cami Secret Boob Apron parody. It's one of the funniest things I've seen in a very long time. Let's face it, boobs are the greatest thing ever. Right now, this guy has an office boner. For some reason, women keep trying to cover their lady prizes up. Sometimes, they even wear undershirts, which is a real fucking buzzkill. Well, now some asshole has invented this new boob apron, which is like a piece of a shirt that women attach to their bras so they can feel like they're wearing an undershirt when it's really just a boner-killing titkerchief. If you wear a boob apron, then you can look like a librarian, a receptionist, or someone who's allergic to parties. Why wear an undershirt when it gives you breast wedgie? And boob aprons are even worse. Ooh, look, I'm pretending to work. For some reason, a guy telling a girl she has nice hooters is bad. But boob apron takes all the fun out of a date in no time. Nice white wine, dick. Boob apron has fancy fabrics and was made by slave children overseas, which makes wearing boob apron worse because now you support slavery. Life sucks enough as is, and at times, getting a peek at cleavage is all men have to look forward to. Why would anybody invent something to ruin a man's happiness and take away his dreams, regardless of what fucking colors this dream robber comes in? This is America, where we're supposed to make dreams come true, not take them away with a fucking fun bag napkin. Wouldn't this fake job be better if these girls could could see each other's cleavage and kiss? Isn't life all about being proud of the gifts God gave you? Because believe me, if guys had boobs, we'd only leave the house to show them off. Oh look, it's the white wine dickhead again, fag. Hey, hop on the phone now and you can double the buzzkill factor and get twice as many boob aprons as before for the same price. whoop de fucking do Yeah, just order a tall stack of these blue ballers and ruin the fun for everyone. And don't forget to ask the operator if he or she has any other ideas on how to make life less fun. Like a mouthwash that gives you poison ivy. Or french fries with herpes. That'd be just great. Boob apron. Worst fucking invention ever.